There seems to be a synchronised upswing as far as the last day is concerned, the last uh, 24 hours. But uh, we've got good gains for the US markets at the moment. They're up in the order of around 3 to 4%. But uh, nothing beats the performance of the Australian share market yesterday. It was up by around 7%. In fact, uh, when I say nothing, there was one market. It was the Venezuelan market that rose by 14%. But nonetheless, uh, the 7% gain that we saw yesterday, particularly encouraging because it really highlights the, the fact that the initiatives taken by the federal government um, quite swiftly over the course of the last three weeks uh, are getting traction. But most specifically, uh, that job support package yesterday you're going to have six million workers supported by the federal government. They're going to be picking up the wage bill. Uh, the human impact of that is uh, without question, but what it means from a business sense is also incredibly important. And that's part of the reason that the market raced away the way it did in the latter part of yesterday's session. Uh, uh, Tom, are we getting towards the stage where we've hit the floor now, or is it still too early, too early to tell? Pete, uh, it's like Donald Rumsfeld once said, there are a lot of unknown unknowns at the moment. Mm. So uh, under these circumstances, I think the very least that you would expect is the sort of volatility that we have seen over the course of the last couple of weeks. There might be some very ugly shoes to drop uh, in coming uh, weeks and months on the employment front, not necessarily locally, but we could see them from um, abroad. So we're only one piece of this puzzle, but uh, certainly yeah. the efforts that have been taken by the government have been important to uh, uh, ring fence some of the uh, worst case scenarios that could have been levelled at the Australian economy. Well, I guess, I mean, the banks seem to have sort of steadied the ship a little bit, am I right in saying that? I mean, I noticed that uh, Commonwealth Bank in particular was, it was down towards $56 last week, and now it's back to about 63 well, it was up by 10% yesterday, so that um, just highlights how unreal these moves are in the share market uh, at the moment. And it's not for the faint-hearted, and it is as much art as it is science in terms of getting it right. The thing about um, the, the banks is that, the, again, the, the support for the employment market by the federal government is critical for the, for the banks. So that's part of the reason why they had a run along yesterday, including the fact that APRA gave them some um, headspace in relation to some, um, uh, uh, the implementation of some uh, regulation. So that is important as well. The, uh, the next couple of weeks bring with it quite a bit of economic news. At the end of this week, we'll have the non-farm payrolls in the US. That'll be a big read, and that will be uh, very important in terms of setting uh, a benchmark for the US market where employment is concerned.